The Ministry of Roads and Highways has begun taking steps to flush out illegal miners who have taken over sections of the project sites of the bypasses being constructed on the Kumasi Accra Highway. Contractors working on the Osino and Enyinem bypasses are challenged by the activities of illegal miners who have occupied the right of way of the project. City News' Ashanti regional correspondent Hafiz Tijani reports. Eight local contractors are currently engaged in constructing the four bypasses covering over 45 kilometers, specifically on the Konongu, Enresi, Eninim, and Osino sections of the Kumasi Accra Highway. At the Osino and Eninim project sites, contractors say the activities of illegal miners are posing a challenge to their operations. At the Konongu project site of the bypass, Contractors are also dealing with swampy areas even as they continue with site clearing activities. There are there are mining. Yeah, it's 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 a challenge, but we are managing we are managing it. Yes. What's the length of the mining, mining concession? No, they are they are within sections. Within some sections. It's about three sections now. And from kilometer five, we have a major section the right sitting in the right of way so that is where we have started the engagement um swampy area if you do not have the requisite equipment you may not be even even able to excavate them or enter and then treat it swampy sessions are sessions that has very very soft material with a lot of water and you cannot pass a road on it uh, you have to remove it that unstable material, the compressible material, you have to remove it. And then when you reach a reasonably firm ground, then you put in your bolus and then at a certain height, making sure that the underground water will not affect your road. The completion of the bypasses is expected to reduce travel time, vehicular traffic, and road crashes on the highway. Minister for Roads and Highways, Kwesi Amwakwata, expressed satisfaction during his inspection of ongoing works and pledged the government's commitment to addressing challenges by providing financial resources for the project. I want to uh, assure the contractors that government you know, stands solidly behind them and as much as possible will continue to make resources uh, available. You know, this is a mega project, you know, uh, uh, a very huge, fantastic project being boldly carried out by the government. And I believe that it will never get stored you know, until you know, it's, it, it, it sees uh, final completion. He emphasized the need to upgrade major trunk roads to save lives and also save motorists from the stress of using the roads. So why should uh, this time and age, we, you know, uh, on our trunk roads, highways, we should be driving on single uh, carriageways? You no, know, Ghana, we are even late. You know, this thing should have started, you know, many, many years ago. That's why we, we, we continue to witness, you know, fatal accidents on, on our, our, our roads because vehicles in motion cross each other, you know. But we couldn't do that, but it's better late than never. That is why for the past seven years, you know, throughout the country, you know, under President Kufuado's government, all trunk roads, you know, uh, are, are, are being dualized. The Osino project covers 11.6 kilometers, the Eninem 6.1 kilometers, 10.6 for the Enyresi, and 13.5 kilometers for the Konongo Bypass project. The Ministry of Roads and Highways has assured it will take steps to address challenges facing contractors working on the bypasses to ensure government realizes its dualization agenda of the Kumasi Accra Highway. Hafiz Tijani, City News, Konongo, Ashanti Region.